Hello happy crocheters, this is Lindsay from WindingRoadCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make these quick and easy angel ornaments. So here we have two examples of the ornaments we're making. They really only take three rows plus kind of like a tassel at the bottom so they are very quick and easy. For this project I am using worsted weight cotton yarn. I'm using white for the top portion and then I'm going to be using this, I believe it's teal, for the bottom portion and I am using the sugar and cream size 4 medium weight cotton yarn. You could absolutely use acrylic for this. This is just what I chose to use. You will also need a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, a bead. This is a 20 millimeter bead and then you're going to be using a size H 5 millimeter crochet hook. I am using the Clover Amore crochet hook in case you're curious. And please bear with me, I do have a sore throat, but I wanted to get this video done for you. To get started, we are going to make a magic circle. I do make mine differently. So to make my magic circle, I start with a long yarn end. We're going to make a slip knot with about six to eight inches behind it. We're going to insert our hook. We're making this for double crochets, so we're going to start with chain two. That will give us our height, even though I do not count this as a stitch. Going to wrap the yarn in around your thumb to create a large loop. Now we are simply going to work 20 double crochets into that loop. It'll get a little easier after you get the first few double crochets worked. You do want to make sure you're working around those two yarn ends, both the loop and the yarn tail. So go ahead and work 20 double crochet into this magic circle. Once you have your 20 double crochets worked, we're going to take the yarn in and pull it tight. You might not get it to close up completely, but that is okay. And we're just going to slip stitch to the first double crochet of the row. So since we're not counting our turning chain, we should have a total of 20 stitches in this first row. Now for row two, we're going to chain two. And for row two, we are going to work two double crochets into every stitch of row one. So one and then two. There we go. And then you're going to continue this all the way around, working two double crochet in every stitch in row one. You will have a total of 40 double crochets for this row. When we reach the end of row two, or round two, we are simply going to slip stitch to the first stitch of round two. Now our next row is just a series of slip stitches that we are going to use to shape the bodice and the wings of our angel. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to count over 14 stitches. We are going to skip 14 stitches and slip stitch into the 15th stitch. And in order to do this, you're going to need to fold your piece in half. So here I am at the 15th stitch and I'm just going to work a slip stitch, which is going to join that stitch to the first stitch of the row. Now we are going to slip stitch into the next five stitches. Once you have those five slip stitches worked, now we are going to count over another 15 stitches. We will be skipping 14 of them and slip stitching to the 15th stitch. Again, this is going to continue folding your piece in half. And once you work that last slip stitch, we're simply going to fasten off and weave in our yarn ends. So that is the wings and the bodice of our angel. Now I'll show you how to add the head 
and the dress of the angel. To create the bottom of the angel, you can take your other color. I am using the color teal. And you're going to cut about a 10 inch piece. Now we are going to cut around 21 or so 8 inch pieces. And the way I like to do this is I just like to wrap the yarn around my hand. And I'll wrap it around my hand 21 times. Once it's wrapped around my hand 21 times, I'm going to very, very, very carefully slip my scissors in and cut the yarn. Please do not cut yourself. I'm going to lay out those pieces and use my 10 inch piece of yarn to tie a knot and to secure these ends together. Our knot is going to be in the very middle of our 8 inch pieces. So here we basically created a simple tassel. I'm going to take my two yarn ends and I'm going to feed them through my yarn needle. And then I'm going to take this piece and I am going to thread it up through the center hole and through that center of our magic circle and just gently pull this tassel up through the bodice of our angel. Grab our bead and thread that onto our yarn ends. We're going to make a quick knot at the top of the head to try to hold it in place. And then we're going to make another knot about two to three inches above the first knot. And this is just so you can hang this on a tree. Just clip the excess yarn above your knot and then use your scissors one more time to clip and shape the bottom of the dress or the robe of the angel. And once that is shaped the way you like it, your angel is completely done. And you work up so fast you can make a wide variety of them. So I really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. If there's any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.